Hey everybody, in this video I have four ways how to kill blackberries. We have a large hill right here that we're trying to convert into a no-mow hillside with nice grasses. And we've got a giant amount of blackberries. So these are the Allegheny, which is just the common blackberry or American blackberry. Uh, and we've got to get rid of them. Here's a close-up of the previous year. The canes are really hard. Uh, and they, they're like sticks and it's hard to cut them down. And then you can see the next year's growth, lots of brand new green shoots. They're very soft, easy to cut down. So if I let these things grow for another year, again, there'll be that heavy, heavy, thick cane. Technique number one is hacking. So I have a hoe here. You can do sickle, machetes, uh, anything to cut. Certainly it looks like this, you're cutting. One of the problems with the cutting is that one, the roots are still down there. And two, I have a lot of rocks on this hillside. So the this hoe or any other blade gets quickly dulled. Uh, when it comes to a sickle, the, the forest service actually uses those. They just pull it around the cane and then just pull to cut it uh, rather than a, than a swinging motion. It's the same result though, right? It's getting cut. And of course you have to keep up with this. Uh, you keep cutting it. The plant should in theory get weaker. Uh, it does take maintenance. Anytime you see one, Cut it. Okay, similar to the other hacking one. All those hacking tools are blades though. This is just a common weed eater. I happen to get a new Ryobi. Uh, it's the carbon one, about 250 bucks. And uh, I am very excited to start using this. It's higher quality than my other one, so it is an upgrade. It should be part of a good maintenance plan too. If you see them, you can just walk around and just knock them down with this, quick and easy. It also came with a fancy attachment. So if you have harder to deal with canes, you could use this to knock it out. Okay, not a lot of mystery to this one. Y'all know what it does, but. Yeah, we're demoing anyway. Sprays. I've got the green gobbler right here. It's 20% vinegar weed killer. It, it says organic. We're gonna see what this does. That's not even a blackberry. See how the blackberries are in this landscape bed. So I could go destroying all this mulch and remulch it or hit it with this and still remulch it because it needs another refresh this year. Okay, after 12 hours, definitely the leaves are starting to crisp up around the edges and change colors. Some leaves worse than others, but definitely it is not happy. Okay, here's what the blackberry looks like after five days and I did spray it twice. So I, d I think it's decent to use in a landscape bed for small weeds and whatnot, but this is gonna take a few applications to really take out blackberries. Okay, another technique is the cultivator. This one, uh, they, they have four, they have five tines on them. And uh, this one we're gonna dig in. It's great for working around all these rocks that I have to deal with. And then I've got heavy duty gloves on, so I'm gonna pull that root ball out. Uh, a lot of times they have runners, so you wanna get as many roots as you can. So here we go. I'll move faster, but I wanna really see what we have to work with here. Okay, so here's a close-up of the root. As you can see, I am gonna just pull that out. Let's do this with the camera. And look, see, it's gonna run a really far distance. And I'm trying to do this with one hand. There we go. Here it is right there. As far as effectiveness, the cultivator with the tines on it is probably very, very effective. You are removing a good chunk of those roots. You're not gonna be 100%. But when you disrupt the roots of plants that much, they have a really hard time coming back, you know? And this is a battle. We gotta keep working at it until you really weaken that plant so much that it just gives up. Okay, y'all, my first tool of choice is gonna be the cultivator. Uh, I really wanna reduce the ability for those blackberries to come back. So before you get started, you're gonna need some motivation. This is not easy work. So y'all ready for this? Let's get going. two large piles of debris, several little mini boulders and rocks. Uh, I cleared all the way 
in there. Okay, y'all, working on this hillside, I found a little turtle. This is not a great place for him to live, especially not after I completely destroyed his home. I'm sorry, but I have a plan. <laughs> Look what we found, a pond. And the pond has a waterfall. I think this is a good place for a turtle. What do you think? I agree. There he goes, there he goes. He knows how to swim. Alright, as I'm looking at the full hillside project, take a look at what we have here. This is just going to be an ongoing struggle. That is a blackberry and he just has to be removed. So let's get him. So easy to pull now before he's giant. Anyway, I got to be diligent. Get all the blackberries out. Alright, I found another late blooming blackberry. And I want you to notice a couple of things. There's buds, right? The buds are coming off of last year's growth and the primary trunk. So look at the root. There's nothing on this root per se, you know? So if you get that main top header, you're gonna have good success getting rid of those blackberries. All I did was pull this one up. So in the future, I'm gonna be walking this property and if I see any blackberries, I'm pulling them up. I definitely don't underestimate it. It's a lot of work, but I feel like it's way better than the sprays and all that other stuff. I, I did have to work hard, but in the end, I feel like there's going to be a lot less repopping up. So some learnings, maybe, maybe some other options are out there. Like if you have flatter land without all the rocks, you could till or something like that. I'd be willing to till something twice or three times to fully get rid of them. But I want to show you this. This is the winning dig of the day right here. So this is the largest blackberry root this is a monster notice it's been cut down several times uh, my neighbor kept hacking at it i can tell but yet keeps growing so but now this thing's dead okay y'all operation blackberry removal is complete but i want to thank each one of you for watching uh, i hope that this video is helpful for you to see different processes of getting rid of these things and what it takes i hope all of you have a beautiful day and until next time y'all take care mm -hmm.